Welcome to Charterhouse TV. A question we get asked a lot is what rock should I use when I'm setting up my marine aquarium? So we thought we'd go through our best selling ranges to try and help you answer that question. So traditionally people used to use live rock to set up their marine or reef tanks and that obviously came straight from the ocean being live rock. But with a real reduction in the amount of live rock coming into the country and with hobbyists being more and more aware of what they're putting into their aquariums and what the environmental impact of that is, we've seen a real increase in manufacturers producing alternative man-made rocks to scape your tank with. Yeah, there's loads of advantages with live rock. Um, it would have really good uh, bacterial um, colonies within it, yeah. um, which really helped out. And also it looked really natural, but you had a lot of problems as well uh, with hitchhikers coming in on the rocks, different snails, worms, invertebrates that are going to cause you problems, as well as nuisance algaes, which were really hard to get rid of. Yeah, I mean, these rocks that are man-made don't really have any of them problems. They're available in lots of different colours and in lots of different shapes, which we'll go into a little more detail in just a minute. But really, with the lack of risk and with the options to aquascape, and the fact that there is really zero ocean impact, it's no surprise that retailers like us have stopped selling live rock some years ago, and why these man-made rocks are the perfect option for you to start your aquarium with. So this is ocean rock, and some years ago when the options were basically live rock or ocean rock, this was a really popular alternative to setting up your tank with. Now, while it's still used today, and it's certainly not gonna cause any harm, it is a very dense material, it's not very porous. So it's probably not the best compared to some of the man-made rocks that are out there. People are using alternatives such as things like reef bones. Um, they are basically the dead coral skeletons that you have actually come off the reef. And while they do provide a more porous and a more suitable rock structure, they kind of have the same environmental and ecological issues that live rock does. So in our opinion, probably not best. No. Um, if you want another alternative that's going to be a lot more porous, then companies like Carib Sea and Marco make a range of rocks that aren't from the sea, that are either man-made or come from the earth, they're mined from the earth. Uh, things like this, they're a lot more porous, you're going to have a lot more beneficial bacteria in them, and they're going to be just as good as live rocks or the other alternatives. So here we have what is arguably our best-selling alternative to live rock, and it's called Real Reef Rock. Real Reef literally started because of the need for a man-made alternative that doesn't take rock out of the ocean. It's made up of a calcium carbonate base of calcites, oolites, aragonites, which is exactly what live rock is made out of as well. That means it is the perfect starting block for any reef aquarium. It comes in three different shapes and is sold by the kilogram, so you can buy lots of different size pieces. The first is this traditional kind of boulder pieces, and they also produce a shelf or a plate rock, which is perfect to place corals on. And they also produce the branching style, tonga style rock that you used to be able to get. And that just means that when used all together, which is what most customers do, you can get a really nice scape in your tank. All of the rocks are individually crafted, so you're never gonna get a piece of rock that's the same. It's all gonna be different. Um, it starts off as a white base rock, and it's dyed with a water-based dye to get it to look this color, the, the same color as like your natural coralline algae. Um, the process after it's dyed, it's then put into a closed loop holding uh, grow out containers, really vast containers. It's left there for 12 to 16 weeks and at that point it becomes biologically active. So here we have the newest product that we're gonna look at. This is the very recently released TMC Eco Reef Rock. Now. As with some of the others, it's completely man-made and it's manufactured out of like a compressed sand-like material that's then dyed and painted to give it this natural look. Now, they say it's not gonna alter your pH and it shouldn't leach phosphates back into the tank, but being made out of that kind of sand-like structure means that it's really porous. So in theory, you should have lots of space for beneficial bacteria to colonize. Now, that por porosity also means that it's really light. So a piece like this should weigh two to two and a half times 
um, be two and a half times lighter than the equivalent in either a natural or man-made rock. So TMC is saying that you should be able to escape a tank for a lot cheaper. As well as some of the other rocks we were looking at, um, this you buy per box. There's actually six boxes available and each of those will come with um, different types of rock in them. So you have the branching, the plate and the boulders. Um, the good thing with that though is that when you look on the site it actually gives you images of the pieces that you're going to get in each box so you know what you're going to get. Alongside that they actually do larger pieces that you can buy separately so we think that it's a good idea you can buy all of the different boxes the, the separate bits and you can aquascape and know what you're going to get before you get it. Yeah I mean that's a benefit that you don't really get with any other product yeah. but as we said it is a new product so we haven't had a chance to test this in the real world so if you think it looks good and we kind of think it does and you want to give it a go as always we'll put a link down in the description so you can check out some more info another really popular product for us is the carob sea life rock again it's an aragonite based rock that's completely zero ocean impact and it is then colored to give it that natural kind of live rock look um, carob sea advertise it as being super porous and they also say that it's infused with a beneficial bacteria. Now, while we're sure that's the case with this, as well as the real reef rock, what we'd really recommend when you're using any of these man-made alternatives is that you tie it together with a bottle of beneficial bacteria. Something from big brands like Fritz or ATM or Dr. Tim's will ensure that when you're setting up your tank, your cycle gets that really great kickstart that it's going to need. Unlike the real reef rock, the Carib Sea Life Rock comes per box, so you buy it per box. Um, the standard rocks come in a £20 box and a £40 box. You also do the, they do the shelf rock, which comes in a £40 box, and the Belize or branching rock, uh, which comes in a £20 box. But by far the best seller is the Carib Sea Life Shapes box. You get different caves, tunnels, so you can really make a great aquascape with the selection of rocks you get. So we hope that that overview and closer look at some of our popular artificial rock has helped you decide what might be best for your tank or for the aquascape that you're trying to create. As always, we'll leave links down in the description below to all of the products that we've talked about. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment or drop us a message via the Charterhouse Aquatics website. As usual, thanks for watching the Charterhouse TV channel. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.